Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I haven't done a video in quite a while. I haven't made soap in so long. We just got finished moving, and um, a lot of our stuff is still packed up. Unpacked all uh, most of my soap making stuff, but um, still a lot of stuff still missing. I can't find my um, my labels, the paper that I used to make my labels, stuff like that. So I made two batches of soap yesterday. This first one here, I don't have a name for it yet, but it's a, um, a unisex fragrance. Um, I would say it's a little more on the masculine side than feminine, but it's still quite unisex. It's a combination of, well, the top notes are pretty much oak moss, sandalwood, and amber. And then I did another batch of blowing bubbles. So, um, so far, um, the pieces of this mold pop right off. These two pieces here are always apart. It gives me the most trouble. I watched um, Lori's video again. Her sides just pop off. I don't know if it's, um, if she's waiting longer to unmold. I don't usually wait a full 24 hours, so that could be part of my problem. Like my soap is still maybe too sticky. But, um, yeah, hers pops right off. <laughs> her sides. I might have to, uh, put you guys on pause. And, you know, come back because I don't want you to have to watch me struggle <laughs> on this part. I want to say she lifts it and puts it on the edge of the table, but I can't because the two middle parts, the sides popped right off. Yeah, I'm going to put this on pause and I'll, I'll be back. I don't want y'all to have to watch me do this part. Okay, so the first one actually didn't come out, wasn't that hard to get off. So now I'm trying it Lori's way and it's working. It's popping up. Oh, of course, my dishwasher is right here, and it's blocking. But the uh, the first one did come off pretty easy. It wasn't that bad. Popped right off for the most part. I'm going to knock the whole thing over. Oh, right. That is actually the fastest that I've ever been able to unmold the soap. I did mess it up a bit on the side there. Okay. But not that bad. Okay, so the top of the soap has a brown, and I guess this is maybe like a teal uh, swirl on it. And then the inside, the base is white. Hopefully it will stay white. The base is white, and it also has a brown and teal swirl inside. I used um, fragrance oil from a company oh, that I don't, I've never soaked um, with um, oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I've um, used their fragrances a couple times for other things. I use their essential oils sometimes, but I've never used their um, fragrance oils before. So I wasn't sure, you know how well this is going to turn out. It's a blend of several different fragrances. But, um, I like the swirl. It's nice. Right now I'm picking up more of the sandalwood than, um, than the bergamot. You can definitely smell the amber in there, too. I don't even know if this, the light is blocking. You probably can't see the swirls. Let me see. If that helps. I'll have 
pictures at the end. Uh, I make this video too long. That one's pretty. So, um, yeah, we pretty much got have everything uh, moved in. Brandon's still been back and forth on um, the last couple of days clearing out just the last bits of stuff. It's like every time I get one room clean, he's piling in more boxes and more stuff. But we're about done. Today should be our last day moving anything from the apartment. And oddly enough, these are the colors that are in our living room. The walls were already sort of a, um, a bluish green. So we had brown furniture. So it worked out really nice. I know, that's what I just said. That was pretty cool. I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'll be right back with flowing bubbles.